Hey guys, welcome to The Bin Zone. On today's video, we're talking about the HBO original series, The Nevers, written, directed, produced by Joss Whedon. And let's just get the elephant out of the room. We heard about what happened on Justice League and we've heard about Joss Whedon's way. So I'm gonna say this and we're gonna move past it. Fuck Joss Whedon. End of story. Even though he's the writer, he's the director, and he's the producer, we can separate the art from the fucking sleazebag of a man. I stand with Ray Fisher. But on that note, let's focus on The Nevers, episode one. Now, The Nevers is a cool new concept about HBO. It's set in Victorian London, and it's very steampunkish, set in 1899, and it's at the turn of the century. And we have amazing wonders happen. That's when the world changed pretty much from the olden days to the industrial revolution to the point we are now. That's when the world really drastically changed the most. And this show takes a new spin on it because on top of the turn of the century, on top of technological advances, people have powers. And they're called the touched. Now, in this universe, it's set in an alternate universe. So in this universe, we have a group of people who were touched and now they have special abilities. Some people could be giants, some people could throw fireballs, some people could speak every language, some people have some shitty powers as well. But all these people are what they consider touched. And society as a whole, especially back then, you see people who just out of nowhere inexplicably get powers. It starts to look a type of way. Which then brings us to our two main characters, Amelia True and Penance Adair. They're two best friends who run an orphanage, and with this orphanage, they're kind of like, think of it like Xavier's school for gifted mutants that on X-Men, right? They run this school in which they go around London and they find these touched and they bring them back for security. Now, Amelia has the power of precognition, so that's very helpful. She can see the future, she's a badass fighter, and that helps in their mission. And Penance has the ability to see electricity and is a genius inventor. So those two together travel around London collecting these different touched individuals because society is prosecuting them one and two, a majority of them are women. And of course, can you imagine in a patriarchal society, women getting powers? Madness to these people. Like they would be prosecuted by people on the street, the church, the government. And you know, that's kind of what's happening in the show. And it's a very interesting take because the show itself never addresses these characters as the nevers or the term nevers never actually, never, never actually, anyway. The term nevers actually brought forward in the show, but it's an interesting concept because you have, not just women though that have these powers, there's also men and disenfranchised men at that. So think about it this way, women, African Americans, Asians in later episodes, whatever, they gain powers and we're in a society of 1899 in which, think about 1899, who were the ones predominantly in charge? White men. And these guys have to come to grips with a new world where they're not the powerful. The powerful are women. The powerful are black men and minorities. And that in itself is a whole new concept, a very interesting concept to look at. How would history have changed had women become the one in power? And men as a whole, white men as a whole, to be exact, are the ones who are on the outside looking in because not only do they have powers, they also have penance who is a technological genius and now they're more technologically advanced as well. With that concept alone makes the show very interesting, but that's not the only thing happening in this episode. In the initial episode, we're introduced to a woman named Malady, which is a play on, Malady is a French word that signifies sickness. And Malady is going around killing people, and she is also one of the touched. And because of that, she's racking up more kills than Jack the Ripper at this point. And not only is she one of the touched, she's going on this killing spree, and now our main characters, as well as the people in charge, have to find a way to stop her. And in one scene in particular, you have a group of men deciding the fate of London and how this is a war against their way of life. And stopping Malady comes at a big cost because we come to find out at the end, no one truly understood how these people got their powers. And we come to find out that they got their powers from this ship that flew over London in 1896 that kind of left off these cosmic particles. And whoever got touched by the particles were the ones who developed powers. However, everyone who saw it seemed to have forgotten the ship and they can't seem to understand where these powers are coming from. Of course, the one person who actually kept their powers and also kept their memory was Malady 
because she was seen being taken to insane asylum so we can see that she has some mental trepidations so that could be why she also remembers what's happening but no one believes her and she seems to be trying to show the people around her open your eyes that we are touched we are like divine because of this cosmic ship so we have that plot line going on in the first episode we have the government against the touch and we also see that we have a doctor who's actually looking into how they got their powers and he's doing gruesome experiments on dead corpses to understand where these powers come from so these different plot lines are already dangling in front of us in the very first episode and it's going to be an interesting ride throughout the season because not only is this set in victorian london and it's steampunk we also have superpowers we have different plot lines and we see that as the show progresses, we're going to be introduced to more characters with different abilities and characters' motivations are actually going to be more fleshed out because this first episode, I will say, a lot was going on. A lot of characters were introduced, a lot of plot lines, a lot of back channels and people talking to each other. And there's a rich history in this world that we haven't been exposed to in the first episode. And granted, while I have seen the other episodes, I want to keep it focused on the first episode. So it's kind of hard to really dive deep into this first episode without spoiling future plot lines. But I will say overall, this show has tremendous, tremendous potential because of the subject matter, the way it subverts typical superhero tropes, as well as the fact that the action is just badass. Let's be real, like when Amelia True gets in her bag and starts her action superhero landing badass fights, that was epic. Her fight with Malady this episode was super epic and I want to really dive deep into this because it seems like this is an alternate reality and with this alternate reality we see how life could be different how they're setting up for a different what if scenario what if the disenfranchised become the powerful how will society judge them how will society deal with it and cope with it and that's pretty much the bulk of this first episode anyway guys that's my thoughts that's a breakdown of the first episode i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and until next time binge on